welcome back to the underground layer here at Stringman Guitars. We have a Yamaha AC1M and it's from the weird tuning guy. B, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp, C sharp. Anyhow, uh, he wants this action brought down. We've got the uh, relief set at about 11, uh, which is about as, as uh, straight as I'd want the fingerboard for um, a heavier string like he's using 13 to 56 Diodarios, these guys here. Um, I wouldn't want to, you really want around 12, but if I can get away with, um, you know, 11-ish thousandths of relief uh, without any fret buzz, we'll do that. Uh, so we're going to just do a setup. We're going to drop the action on the um, saddle by 164 and check that. Night hide at the first fret. And wow. That's 21. That's 20, 22 at the maximum, it's 22 it's on the treble side, so we're going to pop the nut off here and sand the bottom of the nut and reinstall it. So we're going to start by taking the strings off, let me get the strings off and We'll do that uh, work at the nut and saddle and do a setup. It appears somebody's already cut into the, the nut a little bit. You can tell just by the, uh, the depth of the slots. I don't want to go any deeper that way, so we're going to take some off the bottom. Okay, so when you want to take the, uh, the factory nut off so you can sand them off, the bottom off, you're going to score along the bottom just in case there's been any lacquer infiltrating that area. There, cut up here. Same way in the front. And then down. Or maybe up. Yeah. And then we take the block of wood, put tape on the other side to protect the finish and a simple tap of the mallet should get it off of there and it does yay a little slot in there and they actually put it in there quite nicely I have a little file that I will use clean off that leading edge because that's where they normally put the glue. Yep, that's where it is. Right down in that corner. Okay, we got it. Okay, well, I made a goof on the plastic nut that came with this. Ah, there it is, right there. You hear how crappy that sounds? It was cut way too high. I have an extra Tusk XL nut. So, but he's going to be happy, I think. Because he's getting a nut. 
for free <laughs> and I had to shave it down to match the size of the guitar. That's what all this tape is here for. Now that it's fit, we can glue it in. Tusk XL. And this is one from for a Gibson, but I had to make it much thinner and I had to take just a hair off the bottom. But it fits perfectly. I have 20 thousandths of uh, clearance at the first fret, which is perfect. And Buddy will have a better sounding guitar for it. So what do we need to glue a nut in? We don't use super glue ever, ever, ever. We take some tight bond, original wood glue. We're going to put some in here against the fingerboard, primarily, and you're always going to get some down by the uh, at the bottom too. And that's all you need is two little dots of. Um, tight bond. Put these strings back up again. Put them right in place. You'll have a little bit of squeeze out. That is inevitable. Make sure this nut is in, in the spot, in the slot, which it is. Pull my tape off of here. And we are getting some squeeze out, which is perfectly fine. Just take a peek this way. It's seated properly, and there it's seated properly. It can come this way just a little bit. And since it is water soluble, cleanup is a breeze. All that squeeze up just gets pull right out of there. And there'll probably be a little bit more squeeze out as we go. None on the top, which is cool. There's some dirt from all the sanding. Alright, so let's just make sure while it's still pliable. That side's good, that side's good. Perfect. Okay, boys and girls, we are tuned up. We have not had any more um, seepage from the uh, wood glue in the nut. Welcome back to the Underground Lair. We let our Yamaha AC1M sit and uh, adjust to the different gauge strings. And relief I'm getting just a hair under 10 with no 10 thousandths without any fret buzz. The string or string action at the twelfth is five, and just a hair over four with no string buzz. So that's a gargantuan drop down from where it used to be. We also ended up opening up the nut slots because it. 13s were just a little too wide for these and uh, was get, getting a lot of uh, hang up even though it's a tusk nut. We cleaned and polished the frets, oiled the fingerboard. There was a couple of sharp fret ends that I didn't like down here very much. We tightened up the bushings on the tuners. Uh, we lowered the action quite a bit. Alright, and clean this up and get it out of here. Thanks for joining us down here in the underground lair. And uh, if you need your guitar brought up to par, just 
just go ahead and send me an instant message. If you like anything you saw here and uh, want to help out the channel, I certainly would appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe and a little bell down at the bottom there to get the notifications. Um, take care of the old folks because they're special. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Peace. Have a good rest of your week. I'm going to go maybe learn, learn how to play some chords here.